How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. So, we are continuing on the next area here, the Valley of the Krang Wraiths. Now, this tutorial is probably one of the most important tutorials in the game. It tells you what um, each, each uh, virtue, each phase, um, the counter to it is. Now, I put a pinned comment in the very first episode to uh, tell you guys that because I feel it's uh, pretty important and you guys should know that um, at the start of the game, I feel like. Essentially, I mean, you're you're getting your wizardry spells at the, at the very beginning of the game, so it's something you should be aware of. So, the wizard up above there that we just killed, um, there are several of those guys in this area. Um, and as long as we kill every one of them, we will get a trophy for that. So, a couple different ways you can go here. I suggest going down here and to the left first. So, here's the encouragement tutorial. Again, that's something I feel that should have been brought up earlier, but nevertheless, okay. there's another guy over here. Let's dive bomb him. And yet another guy over there. Okay, so there's an item up top here. It's a chi fragment. And we get our first battle flag. Or our second battle flag, really. And the blacksmith is right here as well. I remember you. What a small world it is we live in. I've heard of your exploits, and I have to say, I'm impressed. Every blacksmith dreams of having a client of your caliber, you know. Okay, so... I am going to upgrade the cudgel, and should have showcased this earlier, but if you guys want to experiment with weapons, um, she, do ha she does have kind of a limited stock right now till we get to the hub. You can play around with some weapons if you're not following the build. Um, which is understandable. I mean, in a walk in a walkthrough, I don't... If I, in the past, of when I've looked at walkthroughs, um, I haven't followed the build that the person's doing in the walkthrough. So, completely understandable. Now, there's a wraith over there, or a wizard that's buffing everybody, so we're going to... Run and take him out. Outstanding. Let's keep pushing them while we have the advantage. Now we can freely take out the rest of these guys. Okay. This guy is guarding the flag. chest and there's another little chest a little drop down below so right over here keep an eye out for these they're all over the place all right so now what we're gonna do Take out the doggo. Well, these guys. Yeah, that guy fell down. Come back, buddy. In the meantime, I'm gonna hop on this guy. 
Now, there are a couple of wizards down here, uh, one of which may see us in a second here. The one up top hopefully won't see us. So this guy saw us. We're going to take him out quick. Get the marker flag here. guy up top, I don't believe, has seen us, so that's good. Well, items there. And there was a little chest over here. There's a guy guarding it. Rank 2 leather. To leather and steel. So we'll be picking up the second tier upgrades, obviously, in this area, and then we can grade our cudgel some more. Okay, so this is back where we were. There is a chest right here. This is the spot we were at before, just to pull it all together. We first took a left there. So now, you're going to come up here. Okay, so this is the wizard that I was worried was going to be sniping us while we were down there, but he didn't, so that's good. Take care of this guy hiding in the bushes to pick up that item. Okay, and then pull it all together. There's the battle flag we just got. So, moving along here. Just grab throwing knife that he dropped. Yeah, there's going to be some undead dudes, zombie dudes up here. Careful of this bridge, you can kind of see, like, kind of crappy right there. It's going to break. So you can see there's a big hole there now. And it wouldn't be any big deal, you just fall down where you just were, but. This one doesn't break. Still hopped over it anyway, just to make sure. After all. Okay, so there's gonna be a tiger over here, so I'm gonna hug this uh, this side and kick that ladder down, just in case the tiger gets the better of you over here. Yeah, let me through. Okay, here it comes. Got some poison going on him. He is guarding the flag. So just be careful of that big flurry of attacks I mean, That's the most devastating combo really. When he like kinda leans back, you know, he's gonna like lunge forward with a strike. And he likes to flip flip backwards and do that claw strike too. Elixir and other stuff. So here's the next battle flag. He was guarding. Now let's finish them off. You might want to keep your eyes 
peeled for loot around here. Okay, so they're they're alluding to you that there's some loot in the fact there is a chest over here. Demonic guys down here. Okay, so we're gonna grab this, get another warlock mask. We are gonna be using some of the warlock gear on our character. So there's another warlock up here, so let's pop him off. Death. That's cool. Okay. So we're going to pick up our next uh, golden cicada shell up here. And a marker flag. Hey! Look up there! How did those rocks get piled up like that? Here. We drop through. It's the cicada shell. Go back up there. It's looking what we got here. So the cicada shells it says give these to a certain person to receive a corresponding reward. And that person is gonna be in the hub when we get there. <laughs> Almost forgot the marking flag. Come on. There we go. Okay. So now back where we came from, there's going to be some more demonic or zombified guys down here. Now, you see that upper platform there? Don't go up there yet. But there is a... There is a demonic bird or killer rooster or chicken or whatever. <laughs> whatever the hell it is. Uh, that is not very nice. It's going to give you a bad time right now. Considering our morale... Ten. So, we can hop across here, grab a couple items, go up a ladder here, and get Battle Flag. Now, there is some good loot, obviously, that we want on that platform, but we are not going to mess with that bird right now. and go across the lower end of this platform. Now, there is a door over there as well, uh, but we can't get in there yet. And, uh, you have to loop around the entire area to open up that door. So we are continuing on over here. Now, just be aware if you, if you aggro that bird, He's going to, and you run over here and try and get, get away from him. I've seen him come all the way over here. The, the leashing of enemies in this game is uh, not that, not that great. They chase you for a while. So that's something you should be aware of. It's a little frightening when a, that bird chases you all the way over here. Like, I, I think I've seen it, like, come all the way over here. So, let's be aware. So, got Mr. Hammer Bro over here. And there's a wizard around the corner. Warlock, whatever you want to call him. So, take him out. 
It's gonna be a nuisance trying to take out Hammer Bro. And there's some more dudes down here. Just grab this. Right down here. Nothing there, so let's take care of Mr. Hammer Bro here. sure how he heard me but oh well that's our next marker flag so now going back down to where I just we just were guys down here so just be careful. And chest as well. So that is it for over here. Might as well go back over here and grab that cure pot usage that this guy dropped. Which is kind of nice that they do that. Alright, so back down here. And you know what? I think we just got another ranged weapon. crossbow. Right, so let me put that on. There we go. Okay. Alright, so that is clearly a trap item. Get the jump on this guy. steel, so it definitely is worth it. Just gotta take the guy out before you grab it. Now over here there's another jackass. Trying to jump out at you before you can grab this chest. Okay, another bridge to be careful of. See right there. Looks doesn't look great. I'm gonna jump over that one. Now if you would have fallen down here, you'd have a bad time. There's two tigers down there. Which we will tackle them in a second here. some more earth and some more metal as well so we can get some more spells so let's pick up Spirit Fervor, which is good. Fire Blast. Quick Bound. Repercussion Crush. And 
and Cloud Stance. Okay, so I'm moving along here, making pretty good time. So heading, oh, you know what? There is a item right there. <laughs> Leather. Huh? What the heck is this thing? It sure is one cute critter. Okay, so maybe it's hungry. The Shiatsu demon. Greedy look like it's trying to say, Give me something. It's basically like the crows in Dark Souls. Uh you can trade items. Um much like anything though, it is uh random droppage. Uh so if you have spare uh four star accessories you want to drop those for him um, and attempt to re-roll your chance to get better accessories. Fortunately, we only have one four-star, so... Well, no, Is that... I wouldn't expect you to. Oh. It's because it's... Yeah, it's because that the other one's equipped. Okay. Trying to drop him an equipped one. <laughs> Who would have thought okay. they were friendly and dare I even say cute demons out there? Yeah. Okay. However, I will not allow my beard to be nibbled. So, we dropped him a two star and we got a two star back. Okay. So, as long as you have something to feed him, um, there are 23 of them in the game and there is a trophy tied, uh, tied to them. So keep track of each one that you feed in each mission. So we're going to pull this one tiger over here. As I said, there's two tigers. Um, I just want to get the one over here so you don't have to fight two of them over there. Poison and lightning going on this guy. There we go. Okay. So he's taken out. So now we want to grab this. And we want to head up this way. Because this will allow us to take out another wizard. Buffering this dude over here. She's running for us, so let's just take out this one. This will also allow us to hop down on that tiger. But we're not going to do that just yet. there are some more wizards. The reason the reason you want to come up here is they're they're buffing people and they're buffing those tigers too. So plus there's a marker flag. That's everybody there. Plant the marker flag. Now we are gonna head back down and we're gonna jump on that tiger's head. He actually, he is guarding a Dragon Vein Essence, I believe. Uh. 
poison him up good. how much that's eating away at his health and his spirit, which is pretty awesome. Yep, Dragon Bane Essence. Another potency upgrade. Okay. So now, we are going to put some Dancing Mermaids. You like to spit water at you. These ones aren't too big of a threat, but later on there are some, like, alpha ones that are a lot tougher. In packs, these are these ones are kind of a problem. But. Yeah, they like to do that. They have. They also have a. They're not. They didn't do it there, but they have, also have a red attack that they kind of whip their tail at you. And you gotta be careful with that. Uh, if you back up and think you're gonna avoid it, you're not going to because it, like, reach. It has some serious reach. So just be aware of that. Okay. So we're in that cave now. So what you're gonna want to do is run over here and not get hit by that like I did. Warlock up there, throwing that. So this is that door that I mentioned before. Um, so we are on the upper platform. That bird is dropping in now, but we are uh, falling in a pit to our death. Well, not our death, but um, when you fall in a pit, you, uh, you take um, takes all your health away, and you're down to one HP. But anyway, we are gonna level up here and call the episode here. Um, in the next part, we will start off and take care of that, that bird. So we will continue on in the next one. Hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned, more coming at you. Take care. Say hi to the bird. He's right over there.